Welcome to the Great Barrier Reef, one of the seven natural wonders of the world. A breeding ground for whales, home to the largest population of dugongs, over six species of threatened and endangered turtles, and more than 350 species of coral. The reef is a $5 billion asset and provides jobs for more than 60,000 people. Back in 1981, the reef received global recognition as a World Heritage Site, which means its protection is the responsibility of all people, for all time. But what a lot of us don't realise is that the fossil fuel industry, both coal and coal seam gas, is closing in on the reef. They have detailed plans to build and expand massive industrial ports at seven key areas along the reef, including Cape York, Abbott Point and Curtis Island. The sad truth is, despite the reef's world heritage status, very little is being done to stop the damage that will be caused by industry. It starts on land where massive open-cut coal mines are being planned along with coal seam gas mining. We've never seen anything like it here in Australia on such a large scale. It's a huge threat to our agricultural land, water supply and tourism industry, where tens of thousands of jobs are under threat. In their rush to sell Australia's resources overseas, the fossil fuel industry plans to carve up Queensland with vast new coal rail lines and pipelines for washing coal and moving the gas. And it's not just the coal and gas they take. Washing the coal, as well as drilling and fracking for coal seam gas, wastes and contaminates millions of litres of fresh, scarce water. To make way for the ports and shipping highways, more than 100 million cubic metres of seafloor will have to be ripped up in a process called dredging. Incredibly, some of the seabed to be dredged is within the marine park itself. It's meant to be a protected area. They dig it up to make way for the ships, then dump it nearby where metals accumulate in the sediments, creating deadly toxins that scientists have already proven are poisoning the marine life. Then come the ships. If the fossil fuel industry gets its way, there'll be over 10,000 ships trying to navigate their way through the Great Barrier Reef every single year. That's going to increase the risk of ships crashing into the reef, creating devastating oil spills. Many of the most rare creatures that call the reef home, dugongs, humpback whales and turtles, are often killed or injured when ships collide with them at high speed. On top of all of that, underwater noise disrupts their feeding and their breeding habits. And the thing is, the majority of materials being extracted from Australian soil will be shipped off to China and India, along with the profits. All that pollution makes global climate change worse, which is, you guessed it, another blow to our already fragile reef. As you can see, the sheer scale of this devastation stretches from the outer edges of the reef along the coast and into our farms and bushland, contaminating water supplies and threatening food security. So why would we do this? And who's getting rich from it? The mining magnates like Gina Reinhardt and Clive Palmer. They've become billionaires by digging up and shipping off the minerals under our common land. Vested interests are in a race to dig up our land before the mining boom is over, and they're doing it so fast, most people won't notice, much less have time to respond and stop the destruction of one of our greatest natural treasures. If Australians only knew what the mining industry is planning to do to the Great Barrier Reef, they wouldn't have a bar of it. But right now, most of us don't know what's happening. We want every person who sees this video to share it with their family, workmates and friends. Act now. Post it on Facebook. Email it to your grandmother. Tell your friends. We don't have much time or a big advertising budget to get the word out. But what we do have is each other. We can save the Great Barrier Reef.